Vans is doing a collaboration with Sailor Moon and I have all the information that y'all have been asking about here in one video. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, my name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've never been here before, I do Sailor Moon merch reviews. I do tutorials about how to buy items from Japan and I also do news videos. I've been doing that since uh, 2018, I think. It's been a long time. <laughs> Please subscribe if you are interested in Sailor Moon or if you are as obsessed as I am. <laughs> Okay, so I am extremely grateful right off of the top for everybody who has been sending me private messages about all of the information that's coming out about the Vans collaboration. I've been trying to get the information out as soon as possible whenever I have confirmation from people that work there. And we do not have press materials as of time of recording from the United States Vans. But now that we have confirmation from Vans Japan, as well as the Sailor Moon of official website, I felt comfortable posting a video as opposed to just like posting rumor mills over on Instagram. If you're familiar with my tech channel, I do the same thing on my tech channel. So I figured I could take some of that experience with doing news releases and put that over here on this channel as well. I do have a background in journalism, so it works out really well. I have my handy dandy laptop over here and yes, I do have a Sailor Snub sticker so I can tell you all the information as we go. I'll share some screenshots and some promotional materials as we go through all the information just so you can see what I'm referring to whenever I talk about these different items from this collaboration. Okay, so first off, we've been receiving rumors about the Vans collection for at least a year. For example, on Reddit over a year ago, somebody posted that they thought a Vans collab was happening, but there was no confirmation. About one month ago or so, people started leaking more information about this collaboration because stores started receiving paperwork about the collab. So that is where we are now. A few days before time of recording for this video, which is on Friday the 27th, is today the 27th? Is today the 27th? Yes, today is the 27th. So a few days ago, I was doing some Google Foo and I came across some pictures that were linked to vans.com. However, the link went to a 404, but Google was still caching the two photos that I found. So I started doing a bunch of recon and I found some more pictures on Google. So I was really excited because I started seeing a bunch of leaks and because this information was linked to vans, I knew that it was legit. The day after that happened and everybody started spreading these photos all over the place, which other people found them too, I can't take credit for that sailormoonofficial.com as well as vans japan they both posted this pr news brief about the collaboration happening in japan however we can use that information to tie it all in with what's happening in other markets as well. So I will link to both of those source news articles down below so you can read about this new collaboration. We are still waiting on an announcement from the United States vans, but I feel like that could come anytime now. Okay, so what we know, this is going to be footwear, apparel, and accessories. There are both men's lines, there's women's lines for the shoes. There's also a kid's category and the kid's category comes in two different sizes for two different age ranges. There's a bunch of photos that were released by Vans Japan and Sailor Moon Official. So here we can figure out that there are eight different adult shoes and the toddler and kid shoes, there are five designs and both of those are available for both of those age ranges. The apparel includes long sleeve shirts, there's at least one hoodie, there's backpacks, there's a mini backpack and a regular one. There are socks, there's a beanie, and we also have some short sleeve t-shirts. We also have a button up shirt and a baseball cap as well. So plenty to choose from. Okay, so from Vans Japan, first we have the Skate High Stacked, which features a Fuku design. There's some sparklies happening on it. There's this really cool like holographic silver color. That's definitely one that I'm interested in. Hopefully they all fit. These authentic shoes, these feature tuxedo mask on the front of one. They also feature Sailor Moon on the other one. The Lacosta Slide On, these are synthetic leather 
and they have the Sailor Warrior motif on them. Very, very cute. Now this is the same design that actually came in one of the moleskin notebooks. So if you saw my review of those moleskin notebooks, you have already seen that design as well. So then we have the old school patchwork design. This one has this really cute checkerboard print. There's an old school design with this pretty galaxy star print. That's a very muted design. I feel like a lot of people will enjoy that one because it, it doesn't scream Sailor Moon. There's comfy Kush slip-ons. They look heckin' comfy. I really want to get those. They feature the Sailor Warriors on one and the Dark Kingdom on the other one. How cool is it that we have villain-inspired designs on shoes, like legitimate shoes from Vans. That's awesome. Now I was able to find closer up photos of these from that Google caching Google Foo that I did. So here's another close up of that design. I love it. It's so cute. I also found on Yahoo News and I believe where was the other site? Foot Locker or something? There were a couple of different sites that uploaded this decent picture, this decent high resolution picture of this black and pink shoe, which features Sailor Moon as well. I think these are adorable too, so I'm definitely interested in getting those. And then we have the apparel, yay. So the Fuku shirt is apparently fleece. Very nice, it looks really comfy. So is the navy hoodie. The Luna backpack is a mini backpack and the black tee and the navy color tee are men's sizes. Also, one thing I did want to mention too, a lot of people were wondering where are the black and white shoes? So at the very bottom of this article that was posted and confirmed from those two Japanese sources, they said that the Vans and Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon partnership will also release a capsule collection featuring Vans team rider and Olympic skateboarder Lizzie Armanto. So those are the black and white shoes that originally leaked about three weeks ago and kind of started this whole thing. There's the high top, there's the classic low tops, and then there's the slip-ons. There's also apparel for that capsule collection as well. I found that out from Reddit. Thank you, Reddit. Now we have release dates. So first off, we have Japan. Japan's release date is June 17th, 2022 at Vans stores, at ABC Mart stores, some, and ABC Mart Grand Stage Online store. Australia, I know you're getting this collection as well. Thank you, moonkitty.net. There is a sign up link on the Australian Vans website where you can sign up for more news and more information. I do not have the release date for Australia. Singapore, I also think Singapore is getting this release as well. And here's why. When I was doing my Google Foo, I found the link .sg. .sg is a domain for Singapore. That redirects to a Vans website that just refreshes and shows you all the classic Vans designs. However, before it refreshes, I was able to take this screenshot of this Singapore website and it showed Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon information. Boom, there you go, yay, I'm a nerd. So other than the United States, I don't have confirmations on any other markets. If I do receive any confirmation about other markets that Vans is in, including like the UK or Canada or Mexico or any other markets, I will let you know as soon as possible over on Instagram and Twitter. Now let's talk about the US. So I have a couple of sources, three, that told me June 10th is the date that the US stores will be releasing the Vans Sailor Moon collaboration. I also found this screenshot over on Reddit, which confirms the June 10th date. So that's what I'm going with. However, maybe Vans would push that back or something. You never know. Anything could happen when it comes to a collaboration release, especially if something happens and they have to push it back. So keep that in mind, but this is the information that has been shared with me. I also know that they will be released at Vans, Foot Locker, and Journeys. I know that they will be online at Vans. I know that they will be online at Foot Locker. I don't know about Journeys yet as far as online goes. Now Foot Locker has two of them already listed on the site with a countdown and the countdown confirms the date as well. The authentic are 80 bucks and the black pink color is 110. Are they expensive? Yes. Yes, they are. Now, based on that pricing from Foot Locker, it looks like the pricing from Vans is going to be a little bit more expensive. 
So hopefully everything comes out at Foot Locker as well, given that looks to be a little bit cheaper. Now I am not a shoe collector, so I don't know if variances in the pricing happens very often when it comes to releases like this line of like licensed items, but it does look like Foot Locker is going to be selling these for a little bit cheaper than Vans will. But here's the Vans pricing. So the silver shoes right here will be 180. The black pink ones will be 140. The checkered print is 130. The patchwork print seen here is 120. The nighttime print, the galaxy print, that one's 120. The comfy cush slip-ons are 100. The Lacosta slide-ons are 60. The authentics are 105. And the Lizzie from the capsule collection is going to be 125. All of the kids' sizes are between like 50 to $70, just kind of depending on the style. The fleece clothing is 100 to 110. The shirt all go around $45. That internal memo that I mentioned earlier, that one does have a picture of the Lizzie capsule collection. I know there's a hoodie that will be 80 bucks. There's also a shirt with Luna on it. I don't have pricing on that. I don't talk about it here, but I did skateboard when I was in high school. I was not super proficient at it or anything. I could do like a kickflip and an ollie and that's about it. And since then, all I've done is ride around like electric skateboards in urban areas and environments like on sidewalks. So since I moved here to Colorado, like all I've done is ski. But when I was a kid, I had one pair of vans. And since then, I've only had one pair of vans and it lasted me for like five or six years. So I never had to buy another pair. So I know that vans last a long time. I was walking around like Oakland in a pair of vans for a long time. I'm really excited about these. I already know that they're comfortable and that they fit really well and I can wear them to conventions. So I can't wait to check out this new lineup, but it sounds like this is going to be a very huge release. It's gonna be available in so many different markets. So hopefully that means we will have opportunities to purchase them if they do sell out. So as we can see from all the information that I've been able to obtain from all these different sources, not everything has been released yet. We don't have all the pricing. We don't have all the promo pictures for all of the products that are going to be releasing. We just have the promotional materials from the ones that I found through like Yahoo News and Google and the ones from the Japanese resources. I'm really excited because this feels like a collaboration that's seriously taking it in stride. A lot of times Sailor Moon fans are very undervalued and it seems like companies don't really realize how popular the brand is. It feels very underground, like they don't notice us until we show up. And then all of a sudden, all their stuff is sold out. Oh, wow, amazing, so weird. It's It happens again and again and again. So hopefully Vans considers this and they make enough for the demand because I know the demand is there. We know the demand is there. I've seen my engagement on Instagram. I've seen my engagement on Twitter. I know y'all are interested in this and hopefully Vans knows that too. And hopefully they make enough to supply our demand because we are demanding. We want all the things, obviously. <laughs> so I am recording this on Friday. I am planning to go to a few different stores this weekend and do some more reconnaissance just to confirm what I've heard online through all of my sources. However, it does appear that everybody who has been sharing information with me has been legitimate. So thank you again so much. Um, I owe you big time. So I really appreciate all the shares and all the DMs that I have been receiving from everyone. It's truly been helpful. I've been trying to get that information out to collectors as well, just so everybody has the same info and you're prepared. I want you to be prepared. So that's everything. Again, check my social media for updates after this video premieres, especially if there's something that happens between me filming this and editing and posting it, that's always a possibility. So hit up my social media accounts for up-to-date information. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're as excited as I am. This collaboration happens in like, what, 10 days? Oh my God, <gasps> I'm so excited. I need to find a way to save up some money because this is gonna be a very expensive collaboration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Johnny.